everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Or good afternoon, good evening, depending on when I release this. It is 7.29, hopefully you can see that, so half seven. I'm running a little bit late because I need to pick someone up, but we're actually on the way to Race Walls. So a couple of months ago, I went to Race Walls, I was supposed to race, but I didn't, my S3 wasn't ready today. My S3 is stage three ready, so we can finally get it on the track. And uh, it's a four mile uh, track, so I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, like I said, I'm running a bit late, so let's get the car on and uh, let's hear the first call start of today. loud, so loud. Got it out, nice and ready. So I'm gonna quickly go pick up the passenger and then I'll probably catch you next at Race Wars. See you in a minute. It'll be funny to get your reaction actually because it is really loud inside. Yeah, if it smells, just uh, open the window. But... Oh no, like that oil. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Yesterday I've like, my eyes burning like. <laughs> Hopefully, because I've got the valve control remote, if it gets a bit loud on the motorway, I can obviously, you know, close the valves and whatnot. Yeah, but like... Yeah, I heard you were wrong there, but I reckon I've yeah. heard you when you turned the task done. Oh, really? So unfortunately I'm having to do a voiceover even though I actually got some really good footage of you know when we arrived at race halls we parked up and obviously I put the sticker on but uh, annoyingly the mic wasn't turned on. So much was going on obviously I hit a stupid massive pothole. It turned out that actually the rear left top mount had basically just come loose that's how hard i'd hit this pot up now as you can see it's quite it looks quite bmw heavy this is the second time i'm attending race wars and you know what it's an absolutely amazing event so the first time i never got to drive because my car wasn't ready here's bobby and armin uh armin sat as, an, as a passenger my brother was driving his amg uh which was really cool and he just had it uh tuned so it was running a stage one msl tune i think it was around 500 and something 540 brake horsepower it made or something along the lines of that, I'll have to confirm that. Uh, I have a run of games in later, so maybe I'll put the official figures there, but some wicked cars. This GT3 RS was absolutely amazing. So what was really cool about this particular event is normally Race Wars split up uh, Vauxhall and basically all the other car manufacturers in two separate events. This event, it was all kind of mixed into one, which was really cool. I really enjoyed it. There's some really cool cars, different ranges, you know, vans. I think there was like a Vauxhall Zafira that was running some crazy power. But as you can see, this is MSL and Infinite Performance. They've got the Huracan, Performante, they had two um, 720s's, I think the 720s has got the fastest of the day. Once you've had time to have breakfast, you will then basically go into your first safety lap, which is basically just getting used to the runway. And it's really beneficial for those who have never kind of been on the runway before, kind of gets you um, used to when to break and so and so. So yeah, that's what will be coming up next. All right, so time for the safety lap.
So I race against this, but I jumped. Okay. And then sort of carbon hood, which is super nice. But this one is crazy. I love this M5. This was here last time, carbon ceramics. Really nice. And look at that, you've got the McLarens. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that is sick. Look at the seats. Flipping it. These G80s are absolutely insane. Like, even in stock form, I'm assuming this is tuned, but this is crazy. It's got the signature wheels like Pav. Yeah. Wow, my hair's a mess. But wow, that sounds crazy. Wow. I think next car, a win of my next cars has to be a V8. Has to be. But anyway, let's do some more runs. My car's been doing me good. What's really annoying is, I, like I said, I got some wicked footage. Uh, and it was all super clear. But annoyingly, the mic wasn't on. But anyway, uh, that was a safety lap done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy some of the runs. My S3 did absolutely amazing. Um, I was shocked at how quick it was. It took me a little while. And I'm, I think I still need a couple of more runs to really appreciate and understand, you know, uh, when boost comes on. How to kind of shift from automatic to manual. Not that I don't know how to, but it's just, there's definitely a technique now because it's really hard, it really struggles to get the power down even when the tyres are warm. Next year I'm going to definitely do some things to it because I want to basically go faster ultimately. Stand. What's this? Three. Well, rapid. Stand for I wanted, I wanted, I was like, that's really like that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Oh, that's Thanks, man. The gap wasn't that big, and I was struggling to go through manual to thing. Yeah, 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 you did, yeah, yeah. This car has way more potential, I just need to get it on a solid run.
enjoyed that video. I had an absolutely fantastic time at Race Walls. Um, and I was so glad that I was actually able to race my car. I still can't believe I hit that pothole. Like, uh, I'm normally so careful when driving. I'm always avoiding potholes. And the one day that I've actually got something to do with the car, I hit that pothole. So yeah, I just absolutely got it. It's all fixed now. It was a really cheap, easy fix. Essentially, I just had to get a new uh, rear top mount. So I cannot wait for Race Source 2024. I'm going to make sure that I do this as a, a yearly thing because I absolutely love it. I think we all have things that we enjoy. And for me, this is just, there's no better thrill. It's just absolutely sick. And hopefully, who knows, I might have a different car. I was actually, you know, looking at some different cars today uh, in terms of what am I going to get next as a channel. It'll always still be S3 Range, uh, even if I get a Ferrari, uh, McLaren, Audi R8, so and so, you know, got a dream pick. I am so impressed at how well my S3 performed. Uh, as you can see, I won second place in my class and I was class five, which was 500 to 600. Yeah, so it was a 500 to 600 brake horsepower class. Obviously my car's running 540 brake horsepower. I've still got to get it on a dyno and that's going to be a separate video too. So getting it on the dyno will help with, you know, making sure that it is actually, you know, seeing the figures factually. Um, but I'm quite confident it is running 540 brake horsepower just because the car that came first in my class only went maybe i think it was like 0.4 miles per hour faster than me which is crazy given i think his car was fully i suppose stripped out and i think it was more modified than mine and it was just much more well prepped for that that day and i think it was running near um i think it was like 580 to 600 brake horsepower although it's capable of pushing around 6 to 610 to my knowledge could be totally wrong there uh, that's from what I can remember. I think I was impressed when I was racing some of the big Stage 2 V8s and even the new G80 Stage 2 that was tuned by Tom Ridley Performance and that's quite uh, popular on the Car Wild channel. Like, I was shocked when I saw, wow, this gap isn't big. Like, this is not a big gap and like, this is a much newer car than mine. You know, it's, it's supposed to absolutely demolish cars top end. Because obviously, I'm only, it's only a two litre that I've got. But yeah, super impressed. The next video after this is going to be the full breakdown, which I've already recorded. I just need to get it out. So it's a full breakdown where I've gone into everything. So what I've done to get 540 brake horsepower, how much it all cost me. So the first part is going through the mods and the second part of the video is going through all the financial parts and whatnot. Because obviously I'm, I appreciate a lot of people have messaged me saying how much would it cost you to go stage three and whatnot. And I think it's a, a really good question to ask. Towards the end of this month, I'm going to Santa Pod to get some um, times on a prepped surface. I think I can definitely get a close to three, maybe sub three second, not to 60. I think um, I might maybe sub 11, I don't know, um, a quarter mile. Um, so I know the time that I did uh, on a race was so not to 60, the best I got was 3.09. And on Draggy, um, I don't know, my phone is, I think it's downstairs, but on Draggy, I think quarter mile was 11.19, I think, quarter mile. I'll have to confirm that. I'll just put a screenshot of the Draggy for sort of um, validated and whatnot. But yeah, I, I just so impressed at how quick that car was. I think I really struggle, and I think that's why I want to take it to Santa Pod again to really understand how to get that power down because, you know, that was the first time that I've really push that car um you know since having it tuned and what an awesome place to do it on a mile long strip um but yeah going that I can't, that's the fastest i've ever been in a car and i'm so glad that it's the fastest that um it was it was my car that was able to do it in so yeah super cool let me know what you think and how you know did the s3 surprise you because bearing in mind it's only a two litre and look at the cars it was racing you know um i don't actually think i raced apart from that ford fiesta i don't think i raced anything that was a two litre and below so it's buzzing really absolutely buzzing listen until next time take it easy i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please give it a thumbs up follow me on my social media platform subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon for future notification I am super behind on my videos and I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I've just had so much going on. I don't know if you can see I've got a new desk set up. I'm actually in my um, uh, new house right now. So just loads of things have been going on that I cannot wait to kind of get back into routine and start, um, you know, getting these videos out. Please do take care of yourselves. Till next time, take it easy. Peace.